Hello and welcome to the Listening Post's unboxing channel on YouTube. Today I'm unboxing Yamaha's brand new Yamaha MusicCast 200 CD clock radio. Now it's a TSX uh, N237D or whatever that model means. Um, TX is obviously part of their uh, tuner and clock radio section, N meaning network, and then the rest of it is fine. Um, most importantly, it's part of Yamaha's MusiCast network. So for those that have got a Yamaha MusiCast soundbar, high-end stereo, streamer, little speaker, whatever it might be, this is a brilliant opportunity to add not only a feature set for potentially a kitchen or a bedroom, even a study, but also complement the rest of the music house range with a CD player or a traditional radio tuner. All of these things that can be shared throughout the music house range really, really easily. This product is not designed to be a cheap clock radio. It's designed to sound absolutely brilliant, true stereo in its performance, and I've had the luxury of having a play with one of these well ahead of this video. And it honestly, surprisingly good. So, let's have a look. Right, packaging. Ah, we're unboxing a white one today. This is available in two colours, black and white. Um, so you'll see the delineation uh, of that colour with a photograph on the side. Uh, tilting it over, we get an implication of some of the things that uh, this product is capable of. Firstly, and probably why the N237D part is it's got DAB, along with an FM tuner, by the way. Uh, it's got Bluetooth on board. Uh, look, anybody that's used a music cast ecosystem understands the basics that it has, uh, including AirPlay, it's an endpoint for that, uh, Tidal, Streaming, Deezer, uh, Spotify Connect, to name but a few. And it all comes with the sort of uh, the badge of MusicCast. Spotify, Pandora, uh, Napster to, you know, Cubuzz, Tidal, again, if I mentioned it, Deezer, all on board, as well as a brilliant CD power. Uh, like, scannable information off one side with uh, the model and serial number, and an emulation of the photograph on the other. Okay. Now opening it's really straightforward. It's not um, it's not sealed closed with tape or anything along those lines. Okay. Uh, actually hang around uh, for the photographs as always. We're probably going to take a couple of the alternative uh, colour in black just so that we can show it off. So anyway, this one I'm white. Let's have a look. So there's a little warning label in there about um, oh yes of course uh, it's got inductive charging on the top, so you can put your cell phone on it and it will charge your phone. Uh, with that, there's actually a warning associated with not putting big metal objects on the top, because that inductive charger, of course, is going to uh, do odd things with it. Right, we have got an attached um, power cord. I'm going to have to revisit that in a moment. And the Yamaha remote control. Now, this particular uh, remote isn't designed to be big and bulky designed to be basically functional, okay? So lightweight and uh, perhaps on the other side of the bed, for example, or either side of the room if this thing sits in a kitchen. It's full function, obviously with the feature set that the amplifier has. It's just a compact version of some of the remotes that Yamaha is renowned for. It's lightweight and it's got a little pen, uh, you know, um, uh, 20 cent piece kind of sized uh, battery on board. Um, taking it out, there's a couple of pieces of polystyrene uh, supporting the product and keeping it in uh, looking, being looked after, I should say. Lifting it out is really straightforward. Okay, tilting it forward to see the bits that are inside. We've got a pretty comprehensive user manual, warranty card, um, international uh, contact details as far as people that are outside of New Zealand, um, along with a few other things on board. Now, the product itself, the, the power cord is, is uh, covered in a plastic bag, and that plastic bag is taped around the power cord. It obviously eliminates the potential of that cord potentially um, 
rubbing on the product or maybe scratching it, so it's good. It's a two-pin uh, New Zealand power cord. Um, opening up the rest of it's pretty straightforward. That classic bubble paper that um, we're all familiar with to protect the product. There's quite a bit of tape on these. Um, and the packaging is excellent as far as ensuring that the quality of this finish is really um, well looked after. And again, to ensure that it arrives in your living room in one piece. Disposing of the sellotape, we get to see the product for the first time. Now tilting it forward and starting at the top for a second, there's an emulation of many of the buttons that you may be familiar with, something like the WX, uh, oh, the MusiCast 20, MusiCast 50, all of these um, speaker systems with MusiCast on board. So it's got a lovely, similar look and feel. Again, we've got the uh, inductive charging pad that's here, and then a hard button. It's the only hard button on the unit. Um, and it's for the snooze sleep functions associated with the alarm clock. Okay. Having a look at the front, we see uh, two speakers. Now, um, the unit itself is uh, about 25 watts per side, so true stereo. And the drive units are actually in a coaxial design, so there's a tweeter and mid-bass driver. They've actually gone to elaborate, on that note, it's, they've gone to an elaborate um, in depth of design to ensure that they get reasonable bass from a very, very compact drive unit. Um, in fact, there's a big port at the back, which we'll revisit, um, associated with how these speakers uh, breathe and ensure that we've got good bass response. So again, there's two of those. Then we've got a centrally located slot load CD player. It's a compact disc um, player, obviously, and an excellent um, display. There's a little button for um, ejecting the CD. Um, now please uh, again hang around for the photographs. I'll liven this up and uh, you'll get to see the display itself. It's quite a comprehensive display and it has the ability to dim it down. And You know if it's in an environment like a bedroom just have the clock running and just quietly in the background not shouting across the room with too much light. The central Yamaha logo it's worth mentioning, look, the bottom has some nice rubber feet, so it's not going to slip around too much, and some good ventilation at the bottom too. Um, this is certainly not compact, it's not designed to be. You can't have something sound this good and be absolutely microscopic. But they've made the form factor uh, uh, big enough to sound really good, big enough to support obviously the physics associated with the CD player and many of the electronics that will support it too. But it's relatively compact, and certainly if this is in a kitchen environment, the addition of being able to store and charge your phone there means that uh, it can function as a number of other, uh, sort of, uh, it can cover off a number of locations in the home. Looking at the back, the first thing is we see a huge aerial. Okay? Now it's worth mentioning that that particular aerial is actually removable. So if you're in an apartment or something with very poor reception and there's a big aerial on the roof, you can tap into it by uh, unscrewing and it reveals an F-type connector for you to be able to tap into uh, for an external aerial if required. I touched on the base port. Uh, that's an important feature, and again, if you ever get to see the cutaways or whatever in the promotional material, you'll see how elaborate the port is as far as uh, letting the drive units breathe. A bit of ventilation, and then we've got a 3.5mm auxiliary input, it's an analogue, a 3.5mm headphone output, for obviously, headphones, a service port of some kind, and then a 5 volt one amp rear uh, USB. Now that's a trickle down from Yamaha's MusiCast range, and it will play music directly off a thumb drive. It's not designed to support massive hard drives or some elaborate music library, just a nice, compact, convenient way of adding a little bit of additional music and perhaps a different source. If I understand correctly, the alarm function can actually be told to wake up in uh, any of the modes that um, Yamaha uh, allow. So potentially you could have some pre-recorded uh, music um, on the USB and we'll dial it up e uh, each morning. Then finally we've got a network socket. Now, of course, anything that you're expecting to stream reliably should have a network cable plugged in. 
This runs 2.4 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi in addition to the network socket. But again, I'd always encourage people to use a network um, connection. The stability, speed and ease of operation is, is second to none when you do so. It's interesting that they've got a Music House logo at the back, in the middle is, of course, as well. So, there we have it. Yamaha's brand new TSX N237D. The Music House 200. CD clock radio. Unboxed here at the Listening Post in Christchurch, New Zealand. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel.